that new facility is definitely it was much needed and i and i, I hope the viewers or the listeners can fully appreciate the amount of people that are coming to this country right now and how much help is needed when they first land uh i as a, i as an immigrant to this country can can appreciate all this work that the Center for Newcomers is doing, because when you come here as a newcomer, and Anila, I'd love for you to share your perspective on this, is there's a lot of fear when when people come to this country, no matter what class they come in, whether it's refugee, family, uh, any type of business class, the the fear isn't just limited to a new place and, and you know, the learning things that are new. There's also a fear of losing what you had before, your culture, your language. Uh, all these things are very important to a lot of the parents. And then we see generational <laughs> gaps between the parents and the kids. And then just that that same fear that I don't want my kids to lose their culture and the language. So, Anila, if you could just walk through and tell us some of the, some of the things you see from the newcomers when they come here, because I think it's important for people to understand some of the uh, emotions and and in some cases a trauma some of these people have when they come here yeah absolutely you know i think you know there's there's some differences between being an immigrant or a refugee as you know right so immigrants are choosing to come to canada and it, it could be because they have been through traumatic situations or it could be for job opportunities or to be with other family members or whatever else and then of course refugees are typically because of war because they can't stay in their home country and so you know regardless of who's coming we see People, you know, if you if you imagine thinking about the most foreign place on earth you could think about for yourself, right? Place where you don't speak the language, you don't really understand the culture, and one day you're here sitting in Calgary, and then the next mm -hmm. day you're over there. And, um, you know, and you don't have your family members, you don't have much of your support. And often our, the one of the biggest challenges is in our Canadian system of immigration, uh, people come over based on what we call our point system. So people are coming over because they have certain skills and they have certain credentials, they have certain, um, you know, post-secondary education or whatever else. And we need that in Canada. But once they arrive, those credentials aren't recognized. So they're no longer allowed to work as the doctors or as the plumbers even, or as, you know, anything that requires a, a post-secondary education and a skill set. And they have to start over, which is why we see so many entrepreneurs amongst newcomers. And the drive almost always is a better life for their children. Absolutely. They want to be able to create a safe space for their kids and a place where their kids can grow up to be anything that they want and be happy and not have to deal with war, not have to deal with politics. You know, we're one of the few places in the world where you can't bribe <laughs> yeah. a police officer, for example, right? <laughs> 